Hey folks, uh, Marty with Sea on the Mountain here. And uh, folks have been asking me about uh, what I do for the winter. I hit them really good with uh, oxalic acid for, after I pulled the honey in September, I had it all pulled. So I did four treatments, four days apart, tested them, I was one per hundred, hit them two more times, checked the bottom boards that I have uh, uh, those little white things and I could pull out on the bottom board, I don't know what they call them, anyway, screened bottom boards with white white on and you can pull them out and tested three of those there was no drop so pretty much got the mites off them hit them one more time i believe november 28th check my notes might have been december 28th probably going to hit them again even though they have brood now but here's the collie collins thank you, uh, kelly collins excuse me thank you uh in memory of our dear sister kelly collins um and appreciate and love her folks praying for you all the time so sweet, sweet young lady. Uh, met her at Camp Quininia. And uh, from, uh, we, we, she just inspired and blessed a lot of people. But anyway, so we have uh, brood box, honey stores, honey stores. Um, they're, I think they still have honey in there. They, they feel fairly heavy. But just in case, I'm uh, doing this. So I, I've done the Ian Stepler. I learned from another guy, I can't remember his name. He puts plastic, clear plastic on here. I, I did the little foamies. I bought more of those. I'm getting rid of all my um, my inner covers. I'm gonna make these double screen boards. Saw somebody do that and I thought it was pretty cool. Turn them in double screen boards uh, to help the uh, nukes and stuff develop faster. But uh, so we have here and people have always been worried about moisture. Well, the bees use this uh, I, I believe they, they take care of everything inside. I, I was watching Vino Farms, and I heard a few other people say the same thing. They do their own, uh, they're their own ACE, uh, HVAC people. <laughs> they take care of it inside the tree trunk or wherever. So what we have here is a, a foamy I put, or plastic. I put plastic, sometimes I put cardboard in the plastic to absorb. Then I did the mountain camp method with just a paper towel or newspaper. I tried that, that worked really well. That's so that the, uh, Sugar didn't fall to the bottom. I got some fall, and then I did the uh, the, the cakes. These little, uh, I got that from Cayman Reynolds, that recipe. And you put them in the oven to 175 for about an hour or something, and leave them in the oven the rest of the night, take them out. And they're sugar candy. And it's supposed to help the bees um, be able to break it down faster. But once again, the heat from the hive um, goes up and, and, and puts moisture into this brick, and they come up and lick on it, and they have food. But you can see the paper towel over there with the sugar camp method. Sugar camp method is pretty cool because you put it down and you can mount it up. I also use um, shallows. I have some old shallows I don't use much, but I, I also use mediums. I think this is shallow. And I figured I'd use this for my shim board instead of making shim boards. Try, just try to use what I have on hand. It's just sitting in storage, so I bring it out here and use it in the winter. And then you can also put, I sometimes put this down here right here for real cold. And then sometimes I'll put a, a small bag of leaves in here, in plastic, it actually works. You've seen some of my videos. I do that, but I'm gonna let the airspace do this, two air pockets. And so what I'm thinking here, I've been doing this too. So I'm just experimenting, folks. I don't have an in, uh, upper entrance, so I always gotta make sure I keep these. These are off the ground a little ways, and I, I come out and clean the, uh, um, fronts off these bees are close to me so i can do that guys that don't have their bees or gals that don't have their bees close can't do that but uh, whenever it snows i just come out and brush them off to make sure they have a uh and you know way to get in and out so that's what i've done uh ian stepler's foamy so i'm doing two here and i'm hoping to double these bees this year we'll see how that goes lord willing i always say um you make plans but you gotta always uh, understand that it may not be what happens and then i just put this over the top so you have a nice lid. So what we have going on here is still some honey stores. I hear they prefer to eat the sugar. That's why they're going after the sugar. I think there's more stores in here. So I've got a, I just got tired. I would normally just kept a medium and a deep, but I got so tired they gave me so much honey this year. I just didn't pull, I left some of them with extra honey. And then this is just a shallow up here. Has a, a foamy on the bottom with the sugar underneath right there. And then there's an airspace and then another foamy, as Ian calls them, on top. So there's a foamy on top. So there's insulation, airspace insulation in here. I've learned you can do that. So 
anyway so that's uh that's what we're doing there folks uh thank you kelly collins and the sponsors for kelly collins um all right folks folks share like and subscribe we'll see you on the mountain